Hi, my name is June, and I do tours for the city of Bellevue. I'd like to welcome you to the Old Bank. Uh, the Old Bank was built in 1856, around the same time the church was built. And um, it only lasted one year. We made our own money. Most banks in the West made their own money. And uh, as a result, there was no backing, so the bank went broke. And this city lost $150,000, which was oodles of money back then. And uh, then it became our courthouse till 1875. And um, we have a case that's behind the counter that has some of our books where you pay taxes at that time. Uh, since then, it's been moved down to Papillion and it's the Sarpy County Courthouse. And after that, it became our city hall. It was our city hall till 1950s. And um, we, kind of, we were a small town to start with. We didn't have that many residents. But as we grew, when the base came in, um, we built our city hall. And Mrs. Lamar bought this building also. And she opened it as an antique shop. And we had dances upstairs, we had operas, it was a school room. Uh, it served a lot of purposes. Now it's a museum. Uh, I just want to mention that in the 1950s, <coughs> we uh, finally got paved roads. We did not have paved roads in Bellevue until 1950s. So it was all dirt. Okay, there, this is one of the old stoves that we have. And as you'll see, it, it's decorated with beautiful ornaments on the side. And the round cylinder, sometimes the workers used to put their lunch or mittens to dry off, and it heated the room. But uh, it was a wood-burning stove, and it's from Kansas, and it has a number on it, what number it was. Each one had individual numbers stamped on them. And on the wall is the Nebraska Palladium, which was a newspaper first newspaper in Nebraska, and that's 1854. It only has two back and front, that's all it has. No advertisements. So you didn't have a lot of paper waste back then. And when you go behind the counter, there's an owl. It sits on the accountant's desk. And that owl, if you'll watch him, he follows you all over. Uh, he's, I kind of call him our caretaker of the first floor. He's uh, we kind of got him from the garage sale across the street. Gentleman brought him over and thought that we needed an owl. Every Western bank had an owl, and that meant the wise old owl says save. So he looks pretty good. The kids go crazy over him. We have an old safe that's iron, and if you watch the Western movies, you'll know why they blew him up, because you couldn't move it. There's a vault in the back behind me, and um, it wasn't used as a vault very long, but uh, if you walk in it, you can see it'll show the floor, the original floor that it's in this building. Also downstairs, there's still cells for jail, uh, which they never used. You were either found guilty or you went free. Uh, horse, stealing horses and cattle were the big crimes back in those days. So the judge didn't he, didn't, he wasn't a judge that fooled around. He went worried one way or the other. So nobody ever got in jail. They either went free or, we used to have a tree out here. And we were told that that's where they used to hang them. So called a hanging tree. Um, upstairs is a museum. And one case has uh, hair wreaths. The pioneer ladies used to brush their hair and take all the extra hair and put it in a jar and when they collected jars they all get together and make these hair wreaths and there's also a cane from it was wood from independence hall it's up there and uh, christening outfits long christening outfits for babies and uh, there is a wedding dress that's from 1800s and uh, still looks pretty good and it's handmade and around the corner is Colombian fathers and Father Galvin, the Columbian, came up and did a window. And uh, he was a missionary who went to China. At that time, the government overturned, and he was put in prison. He came back, 
because he was ill and uh, passed away shortly after he came back. But he was a missionary from Bellevue. And uh, that is what Galvin Road is named for, Father Galvin. Um, if you go down a couple of windows, you'll see quilts. One's a machine-made quilt in a factory. The other's a handmade quilt called, called the Crazy Quilt. And there's also a fire escape. Uh, it was kind of crazy, but if you had a fire, I'm sure you'd uh, use it wisely. And if you walk down, you'll see a mannequin. And uh, she kind of wears a dress like they wore back then. And the window next to her is Bellevue College. And the window next to that is uh, the base, the first base. Um, and around the corner, we have a little guy in, dressed in uh, little outfits that his grandpa used to own the gun shop next door and he used to dress them for the arrows to aerospace parade and uh, there's a little bit of the depot and there's several paintings hanging up by harold wilkins who was the town painter <laughs>